Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Last video, we made it to Gobi's Valley. We got a couple tombs opened up, and we got some jiggies and lots of notes. So hopefully, we can continue on a good note in this video. Collect some more stuff. So I went into a couple pyramids. I'm just gonna keep continuing onwards. And I think I'm going to do the pyramids first, and then I'm going to do all of the uh, other stuff in the level. I'm also going to learn Bottles Move, I think, first thing first, before I do anything else. He's kind of sort of cleverly hidden. He's just on the very, very corner of the world, kind of tucked away over here. So let's speak to him and learn our last move of the game. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Alright, so we now no longer have to look out for bottles. Uh, we can just enjoy the levels that we're going into for their full glory. And if you're playing on the Xbox, you get a 15 gamer score achievement for learning all those moves as well. So, the reason I wanted to learn his move is because you actually need to learn it to get into this pyramid. It's a very, very, very tall pyramid. And it's really, really difficult to get into. Actually, impossible to get into unless you have the running shoes. So, there's a pair of running shoes right here. Let's pick these up, get the super hyper speed music, and then let's start to climb this big pyramid. It's really unfair to me that when you're opening these up, the cutscene takes away time. That's so annoying to me. Uh, you're gonna cut it very, very close. So, I would cut any corner you can, so, you know, jump up instead of walking up if you can, and hopefully you'll make it in time. I think I can do it! Ah, uh, No! Oh, I slipped. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. Did you guys see that? I was so close. I went in there and then I fell. Oh, so mad. Alright, well I'll have to do that over again. But that's pretty normal to only make it with about one or two seconds. Um, I've seen people make it with like three or four, but it's perfectly normal to only make it with about a second left, so... I'm just gonna try that again. And hopefully be a, a little better with my jumping this time. It's really difficult to jump in these shoes as well, because you jump really, really far, which is definitely a good thing, but... In that case, I totally over-jumped my jump. I'm not worrying about the notes, I'll get them later. Because time is definitely of the essence here, so... made it this time. There we go. Again, with, you know, one second to spare, so. Pick up that mumbo token when you get here, because that's the only opportunity to grab it. Because as soon as you grab the jiggy down here, all the water's going to drain. It drains automatically, and you'll miss out on that mumbo token forever. And you'll never be able to get it. But like I said, you'll have mumbo tokens left over at the end of the game, so if you didn't realize that and you missed it, then, you know, no sweat. It's not a big deal, and Mumbo tokens don't count towards any sort of achievements or anything like that, so... Now that we have the water, uh, it can cool off the hot sand, and we can actually walk down there, or swim, rather. Uh, there's gonna be a couple things for us to collect down there. Some notes and a jinjo and things like that, so... That pyramid is all done with, uh, but I do need to go back and collect those notes that I missed. This level, I find, is also really, really sporadic when it comes to notes. Um, I find that the notes are really, really well uh, hidden, actually. This is one of the levels that, by the end, you're kind of second-guessing if you've actually gotten all the notes. Or at least, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, but as long as you're careful, you're not going to miss any. I guess next, I will try and actually collect some more notes, and I'll do one more thing with the running shoes. Even though I said just a couple minutes ago I wanted to go into all the pyramids first. I want to get these notes. And then I want to introduce us to another character. Because, you know, every single level has characters, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take off my rubber boots, and there's just a big empty platform with a hand. Grab has got a jiggy. Nur, 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 nur. And if you go anywhere near him, he's not gonna let you near it. So, we're gonna have to go and get Grabby's jiggy at another point in time. 
We'll get you eventually. No one can escape. I'm leaving this world with all ten jiggies, whether you like it or not. And I have all my feathers, which is excellent, because I actually need to fly to get into this next pyramid. Ow! Stop it! I hate these things. They're so irritating. Flying enemies are never any fun. Like the dragonflies, as well, are just super irritating. Alright, so I think that's our last pyramid, actually, is that one. So we'll take flight, and we'll go in there and see what's up. One of the only flight pads in this world is up here. There's a couple flight pads in that area with the statues that I fed where the water had drained, um, but once you actually fill it up with water, you can't use the flight pads anymore. They're only there if you fall down and, you know, you're in trouble. Um, there's too much hot burning sand on your feet, so... Go ahead and give that a good beak bomb. And then... Go ahead and drop down before the timer stops. And you'll be able to get into this pyramid as well. So let's go ahead and get some more notes. We've almost got 100. I think that's all there is on these sides, is just notes. But make sure to collect them all before you go. Because each of these pyramid doors usually close once you leave them, and you have to go through the trouble of reopening them, which is never any fun, so... Oh, it's a snake charmer, it looks like. Hello, my friend, I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy! Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Alright, well, I guess I'll make an offering to you and hopefully you can help me get this jiggy. So what you gotta do here is you either have to... I mean, it's easier just to uh, use the eggs to crap in the, in the basket. I've never actually been able to use uh, it using Kazooie's mouth, but if you put enough eggs into this basket, uh, the snake will be charmed by Ruby and you can actually hop on his head and get the uh, piece of treasure, so... There we go. He's gonna go ahead and he's gonna play a song. The snake is gonna lift us up here. We can grab the Jiggy. And that's a fairly simple pyramid to go into and a fairly easy Jiggy to get, so... We are all done in here. Thank you very much, Mr. Snake Charmer. I will leave you and your snake to your snake charming business, and I will be on my way now. And, if I take a look at the level, I do believe that is all of the pyramids. Uh, so now that we've taken care of all that stuff, we can take care of everything else that's on the outside of the level. I think it's probably a good idea to take flight, uh, because the sand is too dangerous. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in this level of flying as well, so... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now. I have a full stock of feathers. You do need a lot of feathers for this world, so... Make sure you've got some feathers, and let's take flight. We need to go through all these rings. So let's start by doing that. If I can get through it, there we go. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Oh, that's nice. So I've been collecting all these jiggies for nothing, is what you're telling me. All I have to do is fly through a couple of rings, and you guys will just, like, give me some sort of secret awesome power to defeat her. That seems totally legit, Mr. Statue. I think there's five of them in total, and they're all what's really good about this is they're all really, really close by. They only really stay by this big statue in the middle. Um, they don't really spread out throughout the entire level, so I kind of like that. It makes it really easy, in case you run out of feathers or something. I think that's the last guy, and he's over there. He bombed him, it's a little faster. There we go. And... Can I fly through you? Yes! Ha ha ha! Only joking, mortal! We can only give you this! Oh, thanks! Well, I guess you're aiding me on my actual quest to actually collect Jiggies. I'm glad these nearly 60 Jiggies I've collected are not, you know, all for naught. How mad would you be if you went around collecting Jiggies and then all you actually had to do is just fly through a bunch of rings? I'd be pretty mad myself, honestly. I would not be a happy camper. I guess I'll go and I will try and attempt to grab that very, very, very dangerous honeycomb piece. I need to get to a good level to do that, though. 
it's right in a cactus. And if you manage to hit the little needles, you'll actually be knocked out of the air. So, there we go. Oh god, hand. Oof. I need to go over here. There's a camel in this level. An actual, another animal in this level. It's mostly been people. I guess the, the snake, but really. And a tree. Oh, it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Oh, okay. Hey, this is your valley, apparently. Gobi's valley. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Oh, thank you for that. That was a really easy jiggy. Making it our seventh one. And you can actually ride on these carpets as well, uh, if you get stuck. Be careful, though, because they disappear and reappear. I don't know why they do that. I guess their magic runs out and they need to recharge or something, but yeah, be really careful um, going on those carpets because they will disappear and reappear and you might actually fall into the sand, which is never any fun. So we drained the water down here, but we didn't actually come down here and see what we can grab. Mostly just notes and there's also a blue Jinjo. And as you can see, there's the flight pads I was talking about. They put them down here when there's sand, but then you can't actually use them. When there's water in here, which, you know, makes sense, so... Need to go around and collect our notes. And I think the blue one is actually our last Jinjo, from what I remember. So once we get him, we can get another Jiggy. There we go! Awesome! So there's our eighth Jiggy. I want to make sure I have all the notes before I go back up to the surface, although I am starting to run a little low on air. I think that's it, though. So we've got two more Jiggies to find. And I know where to get both of them, so... 12 minutes in, I sh actually should be able to finish up this world in this video. So... Let's go find Gobi. Gobi. However you want to pronounce it. He wants to go find some shade. And if the camera would cooperate with me, uh, we need to go find Trunker, you know, that tree that was begging for water because he was so thirsty. Well, I guess, you know, a good place for some shade is under a tree, so let's go and let's talk to these two. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Oh, don't be greedy. Come on. Give him some water. There you go. Ah, lovely water. Trunker feels great. Oh, well, I'm glad you feel great. You can grow nice and tall. I do feel kind of bad for Gobi, though. Poor guy. He probably spent so long collecting all that water, too, and I just took it away from him. But, I need a Jiggy. Uh, his water was standing in the way of my quest, so... A little bit of animal abuse here and there never hurts. And the last Jiggy, if we remember, is from that hand called Grabber, who has been holding on to that Jiggy ever so tightly and just will not let go of it. So we need to go and we need to grab that from him. He's over there taunting us. So for this, uh, if you remember, if we get too close, he disappears, so we need to be lightning fast and just grab it from him without him even being able to, you know, blink his eye, so let's grab these running shoes and let's go and do that. Because I need to get my last remaining Jiggy, and you have it, and I just got it from you. No, I've had that a thousand years! Well done, mortal! Oh, he's so upset, but at the same time, he was he was pretty nice about it. So there we go, that is our 10th Jiggy. All 10 Jiggies for the world have been collected. However, we're still missing some notes. We're doing this world in a bit of a backwards order. I usually have all the notes before I get all the Jiggies, but we don't really have that many no more notes to collect. So, we'll get our last couple of notes. Uh, we'll get a honeycomb piece along the way, and then we'll get the heck out of here. And that's another world done and completed. Like I said, this world, uh, and really all the worlds, even though they're getting longer and longer, they seem to just be going by so quickly, so. Go ahead and grab these boots, 
And let's grab these notes here. Along with that mumbo token. Because we need to start replenishing our mumbo token supply. I'm running a little bit low. And hopefully there's going to be some more transformations, so... We're missing five more notes. In order to get them, we have to fly. So let's quickly go up to our flight pad. I'm not going to bother with that extra life, I don't think. You can actually use the carpet as well, but I might as well just use the, the flight pad while I'm here. Gobi somehow managed to get himself up in this little secluded area. I guess he's trying to hide from us, because, you know, we are pretty mean. So let's get these final notes. And if we stomp on his hump one more time, he'll spit us out a honeycomb piece. Bah, that's it! I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Alright, sorry, but you really had a lot of goodies. You had, a, like, a jigsaw piece, you helped me get another jiggy, and then you gave me a honeycomb piece, so... You know... Had to be done, man. That's it for this world. We are completely 100% done. I'm just waiting for my carpet to come back. I'm gonna catch myself a little ride. I'm gonna exit the world, and then we can move on to the next world in the next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the desert-filled uh, goodness. We got out of here with relatively good time, relative ease, and hopefully some of you enjoyed this world a little bit more than I do. So, goodbye Trunker, goodbye Gobi, goodbye King Sandy Butt, I think your name was, and all the other not so memorable characters um, in the level. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you will join me next time as we dive into more Banjo-Kazooie, so see you next time.